She looks juicy as fuck, but if I wanted to see a chick get spit roasted on camera, I'd go to the hub. Notice how that personal trainer and his client just walk right by her. You can tell this isn't the first time they've seen her do these kegelbell swings. From the way she rides, I don't know if she's a chicken stripper or a quidditch spinner. Either way, I have a strange urge to play some foosball. The way she spins vagine on the smith machine brings new meaning to the phrase lip locking. I hope she wipes down the equipment afterwards. This cherry swirl probably leaves it smelling like a tuna melt, so this is the one time I want to see a douchebag on the smith machine. That sign might say glory, but those diagrams of proper lifting form in a crossfit box say irony. Why are they even there? Crossfit boxes have enough white stick figures in them. Congratulations, you power bombed yourself. Kipping allows you to get work done faster, like throwing yourself down a staircase gets you to the ground floor faster. If that barbell were a few inches closer, he would have ended up in a neck brace faster. Given how hard he slammed his shins against the bar, those tight-eyed fruity pants double as bruise camouflage. His mother should have snorted a condom while he was still swimming in it. When you fought all the West Side tryhards and have to face the final boss, between the reverse bands, lifting gear, and range of motion, most of this geriatric fuck's muscles aren't working or receiving benefits. Not even his butt buddy can help him activate his glutes, though he's the only one breaking a sweat because he got more of a workout setting all this shit up. To make sure he doesn't collapse, Grandpa set the safeties at the same height where he wears his pants. He must have forgotten his life alert bracelet, which would be one of the few things he didn't bring to the campsite. The other gym members are probably wondering where all the 45s went and his granddaughter is probably wondering where the other little pink chair for her tea table went. Despite squatting a mile high, this old fart won't get air until he heads to the locker room and blow dries his balls. This is Laurel Hubbard, aka Sloth from the Goonies with One-Eyed Willie and his jewels. A gender bender to the end. That's what happens when you forget to breathe into your balls. A weightlifter injuring his elbow while competing as a woman brings new meaning to disarming a snap trap. Laurel withdrew from the event and the sport of weightlifting because of a ruptured ligament. In other words, this Steven Seagal looking ass motherfucker had an exit wound. Now that Laurel has officially washed up at a sport, the next logical career move is to take the advice I gave last year and become a crossfitter. In the meantime, Laurel has to recover from that injury. Rupturing a ligament will cause a lot of swelling, which means he now has two bulges to remove through treatment. Zero! Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now.